Shalom, shalom, family. Welcome to another episode of Esawara. Today's discussion is on four types of spiritual attacks through magic, also known as sorcery. We are discussing and sharing these things to make sure that we are being spiritually knowledgeable and intelligent in this season, and as these attacks mostly succeed due to ignorance. Now, the first one we look at is words. A person can be attacked through rituals where words are spoken over them. This is normally done by witches and wizards. As these rituals are done, it causes them to fall under a spell which causes them to do anything that the witches would have wanted them to do at any particular time. Now we understand that spells are dangerous because they can subdue a person to the kingdom of darkness. As a believer, you must also ensure that you distance yourself from places where evil and witchcraft rituals are done because those who accompany friends to these places to witch doctors can also become under a spell as you have exposed yourself to that environment. The second one that a person can be attacked through by magic is through magic by contagion. The word contagion means something that serves as a medium or agency to transmit disease or influence the mind and the heart. This essentially means that demons or a witch contaminate a person because they have access to something that allows them to do so. The things that are normally point of accesses are hair and nails. Therefore, it is important that we learn to safeguard our hair and nails because they can serve as a medium for satanic agents to contaminate us. One vessel tip that we can share is never allow your hair to be done by anyone and everyone because you never know what a person dabbles in that may affect you. As ladies, we are encouraged to learn to do our own hair. And the third one is magic by role playing. This is where a person is influenced or bewitched through role playing. This spiritual attack originated from the worship of Greek gods, such as poetry reading, drama, and stage play, which are dedicated to the devil for worship and have been inspired by demons. Actors who play such roles administer witchcraft on the viewers and viewers who watch these things become passive in state of mind due to the entertainment and open their souls to the influence of these wicked humans because they never have anything good planned for the human race. As Christians, it is not every movie or drama that we must watch or listen to. Minds are opened and are ministered to passively to the viewer for them to be bewitched or programmed with satanic doctrines. Examples of these are movies such as Black Panther, which become a channel for many demonic things to possess people as many demonic activities are being played out. Amen. And the fourth one that we're going to discuss today is magic by candles. These are candles with all kinds of colors that all have meanings they are mostly used in prayers and most believers have been led to believe that you can pray to yahweh with these candles which is a lie from the devil using these candles means you are a witch and you summon all kinds of demons to infiltrate yourself and your environment which is not a good thing so what we're learning today is that we are not supposed to pray to god with all manner of candles or any sort of candles because as you have the word of God, in the name of Jesus, you are able to access Yahweh. This false knowledge of praying with candles and all the attacks discussed here in this video are part of the satanic doctrines that have had their way into Christianity. Because Satan is the god of this world and his works are done by magic aka sorcery. No wonder he wants us to participate in sorcery ignorantly. But it comes to an end today because we have been enlightened on these four types of sorcery that, can, that we can be attacked through. As we are called to be set apart in this month of January, as well as our whole lives, we need to be spiritually intelligent and not participate in these kinds of things in order to sanctify ourselves for the Lord. 
and that is where we end our episode for today family watch out for quiz the vessel tomorrow as we test your knowledge and spiritual intelligence on magic aka sorcery god bless you shalom family